Okay, here's my foot. Oh no. How did you break your toe? Oh Harry. Okay. I know. So gruesome. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, I'll tell you gosh. how I broke my toe. Here's what happened. Welcome to our Disney podcast. Here's yeah. how I broke my toe. Okay. I <laughs> I was carrying one hundred pounds worth of cat shit. Why? Because we have a, a litter robot and oh, at the right. end of the month you empty it and it's just so much cat shit. Oh, so I see. okay, okay. <laughs> Drew's been emptying it and I didn't realize he was doing this. He was just like pulling it to the porch and not taking it all the way to the end. So True. I so I pick up one bag and he's like, Oh, you're taking those to the trash. Here's four more. They're on the porch. So I grab all of those. It's 10 p.m. Ew. I'm walking. <laughs> I'm walking down our steps. But no, th- like at this point, it's my fault, right? I don't have shoes on. It's 10 p.m. Yeah, I decided to take them all at once. I'm like, I'm going to carry 100 pounds of feces now. Without working. And, out. yeah. oh my God, yeah. And then they like swung together. They became a wrecking ball. The wrecking ball came at me. No. I flew up and over oh the wrecking ball God. in front of me. I landed on the pile of cat shit with my <laughs> with oh. my leg pulled oh. out behind me on the stairs and one toe pulled the wrong way. No, you got <laughs> you got pile drived, pile driven by a wrecking ball of cat shit. That's yeah. worse than breaking your foot. Oh, yeah. the indignity of it. Yeah, and uh, well, I mm. think also just having to experience like getting pummeled by a, an enormous, like you know, like child size ball of shit. Oh yeah, I don't know. That didn't do anything. I didn't get like <laughs> <laughs> like whatever killed Houdini when someone punched him in the gut. I didn't get that. <clears throat> Check one two three. Check one two three. Ba da ba da da ba da. Ba 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 ba. Enunciate my words. Don't hit the P's too hard. All right, this is the fact check for breaking nudes episode of Hidden Mickey. Let's hold for room tone. All right. Uh, welcome to a special. I don't want to. I wouldn't call this an episode of Hidden Mickey's. There's not going to be the theme music. I'm not going to do an introduction. As you can tell, I'm neither Natalie or Carrie. Uh, this is Drew. I am Carrie's husband as well as Natalie's friend. Uh, and I uh, have been offered this platform to refute a few things give a fact check of carrie's broken toe from cat shit story featured in the most recent episode of hidden mickeys as well as her other podcast oh no ross and carrie the story has been told in both mediums carrie is a big believer in the accuracy of reporting in the, and in the fallibility of memory. Uh, I heard her tell this story on Oh No, Ross and Carrie said, you have a few things wrong about the story and um, offered to do a fact check, which she took me up on. Um, I declined to do it on Oh No, Ross and Carrie um, for reasons... I, I, I don't have a good reason. But if you all can go to any sort of Facebook page or Reddit thread or any official social media for Ono, oh Ross, and Carrie and maybe correct the record yourself after this, that would be a big help. 
So I think there are four facts that are misinterpreted about the broken toe incident. And I, I want to start by what is undeniably true. Terry said that there was five bags of uh, cat litter she was taking outside. Um, this is not the case. She was taking out three, one of which was immediate, two of which were on the porch. She also said that this happened around 10 p.m. Um, this is inaccurate. It happened at around approximately somewhere between 6 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. After around 15 to 20 minutes of triangulation, we went to an urgent care that closed by 9 p.m., uh, but we were out of that urgent care and picking up a meal at the nearby Erewhon market by approximately 8.30. Um, it's another detail. The next fact is a little disputable. Um, Carrie describes it as 100 pounds of cat shit. Um, I have seen this number inflate over the last week or two. She has in the past described it as 50 pounds. Um, it has gone up to 100 pounds. In my best estimate, um, I would say it was probably at, at the low end, probably 24 pounds. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, this is my this is my fact check. And at the high end, 45. No, 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 this is my fact check. If it's not allowed, I, I will allow legal recourse for my next point. Uh, at most, 45 pounds. Um, I know a lot about how much things weigh. Um, for example, I was within half a pound of guessing how much a piece of art on a cruise ship weighed just a few uh, weeks ago. Uh, I regularly work with uh, sandbags, so I have a pretty good sense of what like 15 pounds is. Uh, and I would say that, you know, if I was being generous, the three, I want to see on three, not five, um, bags of cat feces weighed maybe a total of 45 pounds. I think that's a little high. I think it's more like 24 pounds, maybe even 20. Um, but that's not to say that it would not have caused the incident described, um, by Carrie. Um... <laughs> Um, Carrie describes the scenario as me having left uh, cat shit on our porch, which she initially said four bags of, which, you know, by her math and that would be 80 pounds of cat feces. Let me, let me be clear. The situation was this. I handle cleaning out the litter box. Do it around every two weeks. Probably should do it around closer to a week. I do it every two weeks. We have a repeated issue at our home where sometimes we forget to set out the trash bin on the street. Now, to explain, that in and of itself is a little frustrating because our trash bin resides on a little ledge right off the curb. Just like, all we have to do is literally shove it off, but it's such a small thing that we forget, and there's really no reason why the trash uh, people can't just pick it up from the curb. It's the difference of maybe six inches. It's very frustrating, and it has happened a new, numerous time, and Carrie has thoughtfully put down check for trash on our shared calendar on Tuesday evening the night before, but these two cat bags of cat feces, when I take took them out of the uh, litter robot, the trash, because it had not been picked up the week before, was already full. 
Then we went out of town, and by the time we got back, the, the trash had been emptied, and it was time to take those two bags out. This was, of course, a cascading series of errors, not me thinking my front porch is an acceptable place to put bags of cat feces. I would not do that under normal circumstances. Uh, I obviously regret that Carrie broke her foot and want to point out that I've been doing an excellent job of helping her out and running errands and getting her coffee every morning, as well as making sure she got to the doctor's and urgent care and podiatrist, as well as wrapping her foot initially when the break happened. Uh, I will weigh my options on legal resource uh, course after being slandered on two podcasts with considerable reach. Um, but I guess I'll see how that goes after uh, this is published and whether or not there's any uh, undue editing.